Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool single slot payphone and this is Scott's equipment from Tennessee and this is the initial checkout of this really cool payphone. Now we will be converting this unit and we want to run through a little bit about what needs to be done. Now there's an issue with the vault door. It does not want to accept a T key and it does not work properly. So we want to take a look at the mechanism that works the deadbolts. So we will get into that a little later on in the repair and conversion of this payphone. Now we want to talk about the volume control that's on this payphone. You hit the volume control three times. So one is loud, two is louder, and three is loudest. And we want to try to save that circuitry. So we're going to try to utilize that volume control in our conversion. And so we'll see how that works out. We're going to have to redesign some circuitry. We're going to have to build up a little bit of extra circuitry so there is going to be quite a bit of work involved in trying to save the electronic volume control for this payphone. Now the programmable boards that are in this unit will have to be removed. They're of no use to us and they cannot be used in the conversion. So they will be removed. We will also need to redesign the bell circuit and we want to add a switch to turn the bell on and off into that circuitry for the bell. We will be installing a modular line port so that you can simply bring in any color, any length line cord that you choose, plug right into the modular port, makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We will be rewiring this unit and we will be redesigning the circuitry so that this payphone will work the way we want it to work. We want to go through the transmit, the receive, and the handset security cable. We will also need to go through the hook switch. We need to redesign the configuration of the hook switch to work the way we want it to work. We will be going through the entire payphone while it's in the shop. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We want to get a start on this unit. We'll go ahead and take some still pictures of this really cool single slot payphone and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting, repairing, and converting process. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now. And we want to run through a little bit about what's going on. Now, we knew that when this payphone came in, there was an issue with the vault door. And it was not on the payphone when it came in. So basically, Scott said that when he acquired this payphone, they had a bunch of tape wrapped around the vault door, and it was kind of just jammed into place. So Scott must have removed the vault door and the tape, and then tried to use a T key to get the vault door locking mechanism working, and it wasn't working out for him. And so basically what's happened is someone in the past ground down all of the deadbolts in the locking mechanism for the T key. And once they were ground down, if you moved the locking mechanism in that direction, all of the deadbolts would fall behind their guides and then nothing would move. It would just lock up. So that's why Scott didn't have any luck trying to use a T key. So basically, they ground down the deadbolts so far on the sides that we just went ahead and removed them. This payphone is not going to be out in the public, so nobody's going to try to remove the door. And two deadbolts are enough to hold it into place and secure it just fine. So basically, we had to weld tabs of metal on each deadbolt so that they would not fall behind their guides and get locked up. So now that we have our locking mechanism working properly, we won't have any issue using the T key. So we took care of that issue. We want to go ahead and give you a look at the front of the vault door. We wanted to save the vault door because it has a pretty cool logo on the front. It's from New York. And so we wanted to be able to use this vault door with the payphone. And so now the issue has been rectified. Now we're going to go ahead and take a short break. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting, repairing, and converting of this really cool single slot payphone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we want to run some coins through the coin validator. We had to work on the coin validator so that the coins would fall through the coin validator and into the cash box area. So we want to go ahead and start out with a quarter. We'll do a dime. A nickel. Another quarter. Another dime, and one last nickel. Okay, now what we want to do is check our cash box. So we'll go ahead and open our vault door, set that to the side. We can pull our cash box out. Scott's getting rich with bubblegum money. We can go ahead and set that to the side. Now we also want to mention that the cash box does have a lid. The problem is someone broke the linkage off of the cash box lid that opens the trap door for our coins. So it's not really usable. It's not a big issue though because we do have our cash box and this unit is not going to be out on the street and in public use. We'll go ahead and set our cash box back into the unit and we'll put our vault door back on so now that the unit is working we're finished up with that part of the repair we'll go ahead and take a short break we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting repairing and converting of this really cool single slot payphone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool single slot payphone and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this pickup in troubleshooting, 
repairing and on our final checkouts it's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver and I have an amplifier back by the video it has a button on it when I press the button I can give dial tone or take it away at any time and since it's an open amplifier it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere I'm gonna go ahead and press the button you may hear a little bit of an electrical hum I'll release it press it one more time and release it so if you hear any noise during the final checkout it will be coming from the amplifier and not the payphone now what we want to do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call so we'll start that we'll let that go a few times I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We want to check our volume control, so we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. Now what we can do is walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, we're dialing out. We have transmit and receive. Our amplification is working for our receive. We can go ahead and press this button on the switch box. That'll give us a line out. Totally take the analyzer out of the situation. And we'll call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. The time and temperature is coming up after this. Here the time and temperature. No need to press any buttons on your phone. Just stay on the line. Today is Friday, May 15th. The current time, 3.20 p.m. And the temperature, 61 degrees. We can go ahead and hang up. We can call one other number. We'll call my number, and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this really cool single slot payphone has been repaired and converted, we can return this unit back to Scott and he can enjoy this payphone. I'm sure it's going to look great wherever it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.